My name is Ashley. And I'm Sarah. And together we are Girl Scout Troop 555. Today we are going to give you a glimpse of the picturesque Botetourt County, which is nestled between the Blue Ridge and Allegheny Mountains. We are making this film for a couple of reasons. We wish to share our love of Botetourt with others, to invite you to see the beauty that we enjoy every day, and to earn our Girl Scout Gold Award. So let's, let's get started! Today we are going to be visiting Fincastle, Eagle Rock, Buchanan, and Troutville, with a few other stops along the way. Botetourt was founded in 1770 and stretched all the way to the eastern side of the Mississippi River. Botetourt was named for Norburn Berkeley, or otherwise known as Lord Botetourt, who was its first royal governor. Throughout Botetourt's history, the county has played a role in many events. The Lewis and Clark Expedition, the building of railroads and canals, also the Revolutionary War and Civil War. Fincastle became the county seat in 1772 and is still the seat today. Did you ever wonder why it was called Fincastle? Well, in 1772, it was named after Lord Fincastle, whose father was the governor at the time. Fincastle really means castle on a hill. Here we are in front of Botetourt County Courthouse. The original courthouse was built on May 9, 1770. The reason I say original is because it has burned down three different times and had to be rebuilt. Remember Thomas Jefferson? Well, after the first time it was burned, he sent plans for the new courthouse in 1818. And every time it burned down, they have used his plans to rebuild it. If you walk a little ways to the left of the courthouse, you will find the old jail. It was built in 1897. The building is known for its unusual iron work. Now off we go to see the museum building. All these buildings are located in what's known as Courthouse Square. This particular building was built sometime before 1800. It displays hundreds of artifacts that interpret the history of Botetourt County. Here we are in the small town of Eagle Rock, where you can find the old iron ore furnaces here in Botetourt County. You can also explore the James River, hiking trails, and the beautiful Blue Ridge Vineyard. Northwest of Eagle Rock is Roaring Run. It is a beautiful place for a nice hike or a picnic. There is trout fishing and natural waterfalls along the hiking trail. The furnace at Roaring Run is from the 19th century and it is still in its original form. The iron furnaces were operated here because miners found an abundance of iron ore and limestone in this area. If you are into history and nature, go a little further north, almost out of the county. There you'll find where the Jackson and the Cow Pasture River meet to form the James River. Here we are in my hometown of Buchanan, the gateway to the Shenandoah Valley. Downtown Buchanan contains the area's most historic homes and churches. So that's where we are going to start, right on Main Street. If you like dining in historic places, you should try the house on Main Street. It is a historic home from 1840 with a tea-style dining area. As you walk on Main Street, you can see all the shops and dining opportunities that are available. Then you have the Bikini Theater, which is Botetourt's oldest standing theater. Now we are on the James River Suspension Bridge, known to all of us as the Swinging Bridge. From here, you can see Purgatory Mountain and many more of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to sleep in a train? Well, here at the Rail Car Inn you can. The inn is a vintage 1934, Hiawatha dining car that has been remodeled into a hotel room. Now we are going to Lowe Street where the Community House and the banks of the James River are located. The Community House today is used for many things such as receptions and fundraising dinners. During the Civil War when the Community House was actually used as a warehouse, it was used to ship and receive goods for the Confederate troops and ship pig iron to Richmond using the James River. Here's the James River. It is located only about 100 yards away from the community house. There are many things you can do here on the James River, like floating in inner tubes, canoeing, kayaking, swimming, and some great fishing. Here we are at one of the apple orchards in Troutville, which is my hometown. There are several large apple orchards in the Troutville, Delville area. The apple orchard that we're at is called Apple Barn Orchards. It was opened in 1987 and became one of the very popular Pick Your Own Apple Orchards. Even a part of the Appalachian Trail crosses through Troutville. It goes over several county roads before entering into the Jefferson National Forest. If you're a fan of nature like Ashley and I are, then you would like the Woodpecker Ridge Nature Center. 
It has trails to walk, butterfly gardens to visit, and hawk platforms to view from. They also have feeding stations for songbirds and hummingbirds. In between these many attractions, you can find some other great places, like a part of the Blue Ridge Parkway. And located at the D. Geraldine Lawson Performing Arts Center is Attic Productions. There you can find local volunteering actors starring in about five plays a year. And if you like wine, there are plenty of vineyards around the area to keep you busy. Bonita is a beautiful place in Virginia for you to visit, full of history and entertainment. But there are also some spots right outside of Bonita that would be good to visit. Lake Natural Bridge, the Bedford D-Day Memorial, the Mill Mountain Star, and many other attractions. Well, that's about it for us. We hope you enjoyed our really quick tour of Bonita County. We had a great time showing you around, even if it was just in a video. Hey, guess what? I'll tell you a secret. We didn't get the chance to show you everything. Oh no, there's a lot more. So come on out to the country for a little while. Escape the city and explore. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.